<laughs> so, another episode of Motor Monkeys. I'm Tom. And I'm Raf. And I'm Matt. Today's episode, we are going to get this thing a bit closer to being ready for our new track day. It's going to be, I'm really excited about the new track Hold day. Hold on, Tom. Hold on. We are actually finally sponsored. You're right, mate. We're sponsored by WB Performance now. It's not a paid promotion, but he has sponsored us. Thanks, Simon at WB. If you guys need some performance parts, EBC brakes are always great for it, poly bushes, some sexy new wheels, you give Simon a shout. Whilst you're at it, if you want to go on a holiday and do some paddleboarding, Hailing Island, he's there. He'll sort you out too. So, Matt, get this thing in the air. I know. We'll get this new under tray on, art sign is on, new brakes, and maybe some exhaust rubbers if Royal Mail had actually delivered them. Am I finished my coffee first? No, get it in the air. Well, I'm waiting for Raf to catch up. He has had a busy day yesterday on personal things. That's right, isn't it, Matt? Yes. He has mentioned it only once, maybe five times. Um, so he's been WD-40 everything to have a rest. Matt is absolutely nailing it. That's the old under tray off, which in theory is very bent, which would be interesting, Matt, if we put them side by side, I think, to have a look how that's looking. Matt, you've got your two uh, under trays on the go. Yeah, and all they look exactly the same, which they're supposed to because it's the same car, but... We definitely trashed, we scraped that one, we know that. This one's got some yeah. fake, oh yeah. So that's all scraping, that nut's gone. It's shiny bit of metal. Yeah, it's got some custom, custom operation job. on the go. Have they painted it black? I mean, if they have, it's, it's quite cool. It does kind of look flatter, I guess. Anyway, it's the arch liners as well, obviously ours. Well. Yeah, we've got it all, and on a mission. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to them, if you need any second-hand parts. They're always breaking Civics and DC5s and decent stuff. Good so point. you might hear a noise in a minute of Raf using the can here. Do you hear that? That was him again. That wasn't even me that time. I have got all of it off. Look how cute these pads are. And this pad actually has quite a bit of life on it, but I know for sure one of the pads, this one's looking a bit low, and one of the pads on the other side is super low. So, get them all done. This moves, guys. Look, in and out, like it's meant to. <laughs> this does not. Good move. So I had a look at it, and it's really, really, really rusty inside. What I'm trying to do is get the rubber off, and look how rusty that is. And what's Matt doing? He's on his phone, on Facebook. Subway. <laughs> Important stuff. That's just pulled out. Like it's meant to. Oh wow. That's got to come out somehow. The 15. So it just moves, that's good. See? Oh, it's actually not that hard. Oh. So we've got them out. Very gunky. Look at all the crap that's coming out on my actual thing there. So we're going to give more to clean whilst we're here. We need to get some grease in that I need to find. We need to use this grease from the front anti rubber bushes for our brakes now that we're so rubbish, right? So, Matt, good news. You're now going to fit our Black Series front anti rubber bushes that were in this box on the side, greased up, ready. Thanks again, WB w Performance. Simon sort of has a good deal with the full bush kit. I've led on something solid like a bolt. It's really painful. Got this bolt here, maybe that one and that one, but not that one. Take that off, anti roll bars there. Take the bush out, put the new bush in. Cool. I led on, this, I led on that, I led on that. that we left that bolt there to stab in my that back. Was my, that was my organised pile of <laughs> bolts. It was here. It well, wasn't organised, was it? That wasn't me. I've got to change ah, yeah. this ABS sensor. Uh, I've got the old one up here. I've identified where it goes. It goes into here. It's plugged in somewhere there. So I just need to remove the old one. Put the new one in. Jobs are good. Yeah. What job are you up to, mate? <clears throat> Changing the ABS sensor. Got Changing it? Changing. Changing. You know what you like. Changing it. Uh, so, uh, we've got it out. That's where it was. We had to hammer and chisel the thing out. And that's good. Give it a good clean up. So, braking would be a good start for that, mate. And a bit of WD-40. Yep. That's the plan. We had an error code. The ABS lights. Yes, yeah. The light came on. Matt was sending it too hard around the truck. Let's blame Matt, but it's actually me that broke it. So just tell the camera what you're doing. And what we've done. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I've done. Okay, we have just fitted Powerflex Black Series anti -roll, front anti roll bar bushes. Right, so we've got the ABS sensor up here. Tom absolutely butchered it. We managed to unclip all of the clips where they bolted into the chassis. Um, I just need to do the last one, which is where the actual ABS sensor is plugged in. Once I've got that out of the way, I can put a new one in and hopefully the light on the dash is going to go off. Fingers crossed. How rubbish is this, right? Look at this, guys. 
The exhaust, the exhaust is hitting the spring and it is proper annoying. So we need to work out what we're going to do about that. I know you're going to think I'm slacking, taking, oh, ages, to, taking ages doing these under trees and that. Hang on, what time did we start? It's 2.45, we started at 8am. <laughs> There's only five clips to put in. I just didn't want what happened on the last track day to happen again, so this is going in so secure. Did we not agree on that track day it wasn't his fault? Don't get upset. I just want it to be right, you know what I mean? You, you still need... I've got brand new clips. Mental health is important, guys. I've got brand new clips. No, you're sweaty. I'm, I'm working hard. <laughs> what do you expect? I managed to replace the oh. ABS sensor, so that's all in. That's all nicely plugged in. Clipped in in places as well. Yeah. They're greasy now. Oh. <laughs> it moves now. It's, we've done a restroom mod. We've done a thing. We've done a thing. We've restroom modded the car. Right, well, Tom is busy up here. This is the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, I am going home. That's it, guys. You've broken it. How dare you. Have you done a thing and made it better? I've done a thing and it's actually even better. Matt, you've done such a good job, mate, on that. I'm going to christen you. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the new disc on. Looking nice. I've wound the caliper back. We get the new pads on. No one brought any paint, so we can't paint the uh, paint the brakes. But there we go. How are you getting on, Raf? Well, how far have you got? Putting the disc on. The disc on now. Yep. Let's have a look. He's lying. He's he's absolutely lied to you. Is he lied to me? Oh, I'm a little bit lost now. <laughs> Hold on. But the screws don't line up on this. Stop videoing this now. <laughs> <laughs> this is embarrassing. <laughs> There's new, like the Japanese give you lots of different options. Like, which one do you want? Because normally you? I'll be the one. It's been a long day. It's already past midnight. What well, sicko puts the brake disc on without putting copper grease behind the brake disc uh, to stop uh, it from sealing on the next time? Uh, and uh, puts uh, the securing screws in, put the securing screws in with no copper grease either, so that they'll rust on as well. No, no, no. So then you've got to drill those securing screws out. Is that it? That's that sicko there. <laughs> I put copper grease behind my disc so it pops off next time and on my securing screw to make sure that can come out next time as well. Raf is currently quality controlling Max work. Uh, yeah, we haven't got any fixings for those. And he's going, he's not happy. Yeah. But there's a hole. There's one as well. There's yeah, a hole there. You can't get, they, the thing's too flimsy to get a... Where else are we missing, sir? This junction here. Right. There's these red bits of plastic, they are supposed to fasten to the... Oh, we got those of screws. No, I couldn't find them. That would do the job. Matt says missing some screws. Well, Matt. This is our hydro bag for the engine that we're not running. And this is all the bolts and screws from the last time we took the bumper off. Quite a heavy bag, that. <laughs> That's the bit I need. That's a short episode from us. We've got new distance pads on the back. Uh, we've got the under tray on, and we've got those new anti-roll bar bushes on. I think Matt filmed the anti-roll bar bushes, didn't you, Matt? No. Did you do any filming? Oh, no. yeah. So we have no content that we fitted Paraflex. I, prom I promise we did it. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't film anything that we did it. But I promise we did it. Okay, so other than the fact that in this bin here, there is an, so we do have an empty box of Power Flex, which says here, look, front anti roll bar bush. That's the only proof you've got that we've done the work. And the Power Flex bush is on the car. Yeah, but you didn't film it. You did from that bit with me and the leaf. We've done that. We've put some new distance pads on. We've fixed new under trays. Boring jobs. The power flex was the most exciting part, and Matt didn't film it. Walk, that, is that yeah. a walk of shame, Matt? Oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Sorry, let me go in there just assess my uh, polyflex bushes. Polyflex? Power flex. It doesn't even know the name of them. I'm, mate, I'm too knackered. So these were on the front. We rotated them backwards, and, uh, you know, front to back, back to front, upside down. Upside down, left and right. Uh, and we don't think we've got any other content to show. Because we have no... Oh, we might do some bushes. We need to break something so we can... Shut up, shut up! Our... Right, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you soon. It might not even be till August. <music> news in. News just in news flash. We've got a problem. <laughs> There's Matt saying we should break this to find a problem. Let me scoot on right. Oh, to Raph. Raph. Tell us the problem. I found the problem. Oh no. We've got some new wheel arches. Yeah. We're missing some clips again, Matt. Oh, oh no! Where? Oh, you have one job. 
Where? One, one job. The whole, the only job that Matt has done all day because he didn't film to fit in the bushes, so that never happened. So as far as you're concerned, the only job he's done all day is fit some arch liners, and he's missed clips. Missed a clip. No, that's a screw, I think. Hit the wheel off and find out. I, I thought it would put stress on everything, so I thought I didn't. <laughs> Go get some it's clips. Famous excuse for. A but it's, <laughs> but it's all very tight. Lovely and tight doesn't need. Where is it tight, Matt? This is gonna I go. I didn't think it was necessary. This is gonna go flying on the track again. I didn't think. It and was. I'll get black flag to be my fault. I'll get the black flag. Let's get some proof it's missing clip because Ruff could be lying. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Then if you can see it on the camera, but there's a hole there. Should be a clip. I don't think it was necessary. <laughs> Everyone likes a tight arch liner. Going in, Matt. No, because because it's just too much stress on the plastic. I can't even get it in. See. This That's what like... she said. Yeah, turn the wheel a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, let me let me help, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Too fair, I did say take the wheel off. I said that, Matt. I said take the wheel off. Wheels coming off. If you want this done properly, Let's, yeah. Well, we did, didn't we, Raf? Job advertisement on the man coming up. We're looking yeah. for a new apprentice. Third lunch you requires. Matt is not good to anyone. <laughs> Come on, here Matthew. we go. Right on. Can you see a missing clip in there? Right on cue, our new monkey has arrived, our new apprentice. <laughs> Two hours later. Two hours what? later. Yes. Subscribe, hit that notify bu notification bell so you know when we're doing new content, which is better stuff coming soon. And other than fixing the exhaust, which you probably won't bother filming, I guess, unless it's really hard. See you at the track day, which is ages away. I've only got no content for two months. Let's break something and be- SHUT UP!